Welcome to Deep Focus. I'm your host, Mitch Goldman. This is part three of three parts of a program. First broadcast Monday, August 21st, 2023. On the topic of Eric Dolphy, my guest, Roy Nathanson. And if you've been around for some of these before, you know I'm going to say, you might want to listen to one and two first, but you know, it's your thing, baby. All right, here we go.
You are in Paris with Eric Dolphy playing in this uh, quintet setting with Donald Byrd on trumpet. We heard Nathan Davis's tenor saxophone and a rhythm section of uh, a local French Parisian rhythm section, Jacques Dieval on piano, Jacques Hess on the bass, Franco Manzecchi on the drums. And we think this is probably a Jack Dieval date. The show's Deep Focus. Yeah. I'm going to introduce once again, because I love saying it every time I say it. <laughs> I'm here in the studio with Roy Nathanson, <laughs> yeah. and um, a little a little different flavor than, uh, than, than the corner in Queens. Yeah, they should have gone back to Queens. <laughs> I love Paris, but I don't know about the rhythm section. But it's like, you know, it was kind of like you were waiting, for, you know, like there's a little ostinato, it's like you know, Arabic-ish, blah, blah, blah. There's nothing happening really that much. But, but when you hear the Dolphy solo, it's crazy. He tries to make some sense of it. Also, he doesn't just go right into it. But he doesn't do that. Right. He tries to make some sense of that they're grooving in this little, um, you know, ostinato thing and everybody's playing very reserved and, you know, so he's trying to hear what makes sense to him. And, 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 and you know, you hear that really cool thing where he plays those really low ba- uh, bass clarinet. It's bass, mostly he's playing bass clarinet, bass clarinet and those high notes. And, he's, you know, he's sort of seeing what the intervals do in relation to that, to that, uh, like, little groove that they got, this kind of insipid groove that they have. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean... It's right. fine, you know, but anyway, once he starts playing, he's playing some incredible stuff and it's still beautiful. It's still beautiful, you know, it's still, you know, crazy, but I I love that other uh, rhythm, rhythm <laughs> section in Queens. That shit was, we, like, we could listen to that again right? if you want. <laughs> no, let's keep going. Let's see. Now also, we're going to hear 245 two, yes. and GW next, which we just heard before. And that would be interesting to hear that in relation to... Um, you know, to hear one after the other of two things that we've never heard before. It's cool. And I'll give a nod to uh, these French recording engineers. Totally, is, right. Ooh. The sound also. I remember the other thing was just a radio broadcast, and it was amazing we could hear it. But this is really, you know. And my experience in recording in France, you know, in French radios, it's always great, you know. Yeah, ORTF, the whole. And there's a ton of great French jazz musicians now I mean that's for sure and probably there was some then I'm sure but now it's a whole nother but, thing but in Roy's book these aren't there <laughs> these aren't there <laughs> alright alright hope they're not listening yeah. they'd feel bad uh, so alright we're gonna go back to uh, and this, I should wait I should shout out my, my I played for three years with these wonderful young musicians from Rouen called Papa Noche, if you want to check out that band. It's an amazing band. And I did, we did a, a, a record um, uh, with Mark Rebo of, of uh, uh, Songs of Home and also a, a new one that's, and then we also did some uh, Mingus music with that band. And those are great young players, really great. That's a cool town, too. 
Yeah, New Orleans. That's, cool a, that's yeah. a good eating town. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that good for Joan of Arc? But. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, but we're we're in Paris. It's a little hard to imagine actually listening to this. Le Chaki Pesh, as I understand, is a was a basement. It was one of those cellars, one of those like you know, oh, wow. uh, like cavern kind of environments. This is a really remarkable recording, and I hear no audience. So, yeah, it's, so it's either weird. they recorded, yeah. and maybe they recorded in the afternoon. Or they killed no, the audience. You maybe know. <laughs> they all fell asleep. Oh, right, don't right, say that. Right. Don't start. Don't start. Right. None right. won't be none, Roy. Right. The show's deep focus. I'm Mitch Goldman, right. and let me say it's WKCR FM New York, WKCR HD, WKCR dot org, eighty nine point nine FM here in New York. But the folks can hear us, and if you got friends out of town. And you want to tell them about your favorite radio station? It's wkcr.org on the web. And go look. By the way, I got to say, I'm going to give a little acknowledgement, maybe a little bigger than a little acknowledgement, of the students that are running the station these days are doing a stellar job. Sounds like it. It is. And things are getting better and better. And one of the terrific things they've been doing is every month they're putting out new cool merch. And we had the same stuff for years and years, and they're, like, doing new T-shirts and hats and stickers and what, 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 what. So go check out WKCR.org, and you will uh, you might see, might get inspired. Get some gear. Show the folks, you know. Let everybody know. Fly your colors. I mean, KCR's been out here for a lot of years, boy. It's an incredible place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah anyway. you, you know. You yeah. know. All right, so we are with Eric Dolphy on the bandstand, and uh, this is 245. So we're doing one of Eric Dolphy's tunes. Maybe things might take a little new direction. That'd be interesting. Let's see what they do with that.
Eric Dolphy showing them how it's done. If you've never heard that before, you might not be surprised to hear that this is not a properly released recording. It's the French radio service recording Eric Dolphy along with this sextet in Paris at uh, Le Chaki Pesh, kind of a hometown spot for the uh, expats and local music lovers on the left bank of Paris in June of 1964. The show's called Deep Focus. I'm your host, Mitch Goldman, and I have the great pleasure of being here with Roy Nathanson, who is uh, not so impressed with, with, <laughs> with most of the musicians on the bandstand. No. And yet, and yet, yeah. and yet. And yet? And yet, we still have our, our hero. Yes, I mean, and it still sounds, I mean, like, it's like, I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, I played I played in France a lot, particularly in the last couple of years. And, you know, with French musicians are wonderful. I mean, just, it, it doesn't sound like if you're listening to this rhythm section after listening to that rhythm section of the Gaslight, they just seem so more connected to what Dolph is playing. And, uh you know, and it's also it's a strange thing, like you were saying, that this is just a few weeks before he died, but boy, he sounds so unbelievable. And like, for instance, that 245, I mean, you, you know, when you just heard that, it just didn't seem like he was anywhere near, you know, like the rhythm section was not with him in the same kind of way, you know, and especially when he's swinging like that. And, you know, anyway, it was fine, you know, but, but I mean, he sounds unbelievable as usual, and it's it's just another chance to hear a, a great solo of his, you know, and uh, you know it's it's interesting. Uh, and Donald Byrne set Donald Bird sounds good. Donald Byrne's Donald. Bird. Yeah, Nathan Davis, a terrific tenor player. Yeah, he's great. I mean, yeah. he's and, uh, it, it's kind of you don't hear much of it here, though. Exactly, yeah. you know, it's crazy. But anyway, it's still incredible to hear. I'm curious to hear how they do uh, GW. Well, that's coming up next. Let yeah. me ask you. Roy Nathanson's my guest. Roy, you are a composer. You are a band leader. You are an alto saxophonist. You are an actor. You are a poet. You are a professor. <laughs> Tell that to my students. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, I want to ask you a multi-part question about how listeners can follow what you're doing, what you've got coming up. Well, and I don't ever go on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not so much. I mean, but no, the, uh, the Jazz Passengers has a, a website, jpmp.org. And one thing I will say is that, you know, I, I started this program after I played the free music program for kids in Flatbush, and it's really, and we bought instruments and all that. And we need money. Uh-huh. So uh, definitely, if you want to go help, it's called the 5 p.m. A porch concert program and you'll see if you go to jpmp.org and you can also listen if you go to to the jazz passengers website you can see old jazz passengers stuff and you know the, my friend curtis folks has been so sick and uh was a great 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 trombone player he's known he's been on your show and uh, mitch knows him and uh so that's something and to know about. And uh, also I have a new record that's coming out about that actually is sort of, as spoke earlier about the 82 days we played out in front of my house during the pandemic. And 
after that was over, we started this free music program. And I also recorded some of those songs that are, uh, you know, really songs people all know. Bridge Over Troubled Waters, no, but Bridge Over Triple Borders and... Uh, you know, like uh, go down Moses, things like this, and 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 just the two of us that I did by myself in the, in the basement, my basement, own basement studio in Flatbush, and uh, had guests come in and put them, and and also with a great student of mine, Isaac Isaiah Barr, a tenor player for in a band called Onyx Collective, which who, that's how I, uh, how you you probably know about his his work, but. He, he also uh, did all the samples on that, and my friend Hugo Dwyer, uh, who's p produced everything that I did, he 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 uh, uh, produ uh, produced and recorded the thing. Anyway, it's going to be called Eighty Two Days, and there's a lot of original music that I that is sort of the lyrics that, that I wrote are sort of a reflection of that time, and so it'd be worth looking for that. It's called Eighty Two Days. It's going to be on uh, on Angel Records. In, in, German record label, and uh, but it'll be out at the beginning of October, and we'll do some gigs around that. And uh, and I don't know, they just uh, how else they can know anything? I don't, I don't know. I mean, you know, everybody knows all that goes on Instagram. I did a record with Nick Hakim, you might have, uh, who some a lot of people out there know, uh, called Small Things, and they were all over the into, into the Instagram and. Try to teach me how to use the thing, and I still don't know how, so that's what I have to say. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled. Whatever else is going on, Roy Nathanson will be playing, creating, emerging. Somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> and when he comes to your town, right. you, want, you want to make sure you don't miss it. Thanks, Mitch. And uh, let me just take a personal moment to just send love out into the world. For Curtis Folks yeah. and all the great music that he's made and the warmth that just shines from him. He's just the loveliest person. He and I spent, among other things that we did together, spent a month together on tour. And if that's not enough to bring out the ugly side of somebody, and I could tell you some stories right. <laughs> about some people who are on that tour. Right. And I right. won't, but I will tell you that Curtis was we just we just had a great time so many great meals together and and you know hours and hours and hours on the bus and and, 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 and we were lucky we did we did a record we made a la what probably be a last jazz passengers record uh six months ago we started and it's on the way to being to being finished so you could look out for that too a new jazz passengers record you can hear doing all the, the, the we had a lot of great vocal songs all vocal songs with curtis singing and my son gabe nathanson singing and uh and uh brad jones the great bass player brad jones uh he sings a little bit too Brad has not been in here. I got to get yeah, you that Brad. guy in the he's hot living, seat. He's living I, in, Port, in Portugal now. So yeah. I hear. He's here now. Actually, he's oh. here this week. I forgot to tell him about the show. I'm, I'm coming for you, Brad. Mm -hmm. And uh, Curtis Folks, F-O-W-L-K-E-S. Listen and, to everything he ever yeah, did. Yes, yes. And I, I was saying uh, all the great times. I was leading up to saying, and the great music, yeah. most of really? all. But uh, Well, we are at... Le Chat qui Pêche in Paris, and uh, Eric Dolphy uh, with this uh, with this uh, up on the front line, Donald Byrd on trumpet, Nathan Davis tenor saxophone, rhythm section of Parisians, Jack Davial on piano, Jacques Hess on the bass, Franco Manzecchi on the drums, and Jackie Bamboo appearing on congas and um, GW. Anything you want to share about that? Well, just I think it's interesting to listen to that. After I was totally blown away by the GW at the Gaslight, and I haven't heard this yet, and I know that Dolph is going to play great, and it would be nice to hear. I, I'm curious to hear Donald Burton. Curious, you know, it's such a great tune that you know they should do a good job with it. So let's let's listen. <laughs> Thank you. 
Music from Eric Dolphy in Paris, a live unreleased recording that we're happy to have here in the KCR archives. And uh, this next one, Roy, is uh, 
another one did we hear no oh serene yeah, yeah. that's a great song it's beautiful he's play, do you, i've never heard him play I, yeah, he's playing on bass clarinet. Well, the, sorry about that the famous version is on flute yeah so it's going to be interesting to hear that on bass clarinet shall we yeah let's do it let's go let's going go right in baby here. Roy Nathanson, I beg your kind indulgence, sir. 
Uh, I know I faded out on um, Jacques Gueval on piano, but um, what can I say? He's not Eric Dolphy. No, he's not Eric Dolphy. But, you know, I mean, it sounded all right, you know. <laughs> but, but I mean, Serene, that was amazing bass clarinet solo. Just incredible. I mean, if anybody doesn't know, the bass clarinet is like, it's very, very tricky that, to have consistency in the sound from the bottom octave up to the top of the octave. You know, it's, it's so consistent to, to feel like it's it's this jazz instrument like a vocal instrument it's not you know like that's really that expressive in that way it's just so crazy and you can feel like the buoyancy every read i don't know how he does it it has this kind of particular um uh you know it feels so alive that's all i can say and and those lines i mean you see he even though it's not like the rhythm section is not staying with him but it's not you know there's there's a kind of it's not swinging in the same kind of way that you know you're used to hearing you know with where you just had the rhythm section with 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 herbie hancock and 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 that the rhythm section in queens and, and with richard davis and all that it's just a different thing but you know and but he's still pushing it around you know not only he's playing interesting stuff but it's you know he's generating the swing with the, the with the with the with the sort of with the propulsion in his lines and, and his sound so it's it's amazing to hear yeah. you know but but you could it's interesting i think to hear them back to back so you see that the whole posse is not really with him in the same way as it was there before you know but uh anyway no i was just going to tell listeners if they're just tuning in so Roy, you and i have been at this for or my GERD. Uh, we're closing out. We're get, yeah. about to hit three hours, yeah, actually. I know, I know. And you can listen to this stuff. I can listen so here's the stuff. thing. Yes. Okay. So uh, I want to let the folks who might have joined us along the way know the show's called Deep Focus. We're on WKCR. I'm your host, Mitch Goldman. And I invited Roy Nathanson here. And Roy chose Eric Dolphy as our topic. And we plunged into the WKCR archives and pulled out these two very interesting, very different right. live sets, both right. unreleased, and we have been reveling in them for going on three hours. And all of this is going to be available to you through the Deep Focus podcast. That's so cool. Yeah, go take your phone right now, go to your podcasting app, and put in Deep Focus, and it should come up. There might be more than one called Deep Focus Um might be my name, Mitch Goldman, my company, which is small, media, large. <laughs> and uh, but so subscribe to that. It's free and you'll be notified when this comes up and you can go and look and find literally hundreds of other shows nearly as interesting as this one. <laughs> and uh, you'll never hear an advertisement or a pitch or a begging or anything like that. And um, it's all, it's yours. You can share it. You can send it to your friends. You can download it. You can take it with you, whatever you like. Listen as often in whatever way you like. Real, tons of great stuff on there. And we've got some more stuff we're planning coming up. But, um, yeah, uh, Roy and I are recommending do a little A-B listening between. Yeah, and also, and the, the, will, the thing I think you'll most hear is, I mean, I mean, I think I've said it too many times probably but it's the 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 the, the inter in, in, react the, the whole band performance of gaslight is just ridiculous and people the whole band is in it of course Dolphy shines as this incredible thing but it it's it, 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 it it's more of a real uh, engagement than him just playing over this rhythm section that's not really on that kind of level. But the thing that's great about the French one is obviously the recording, as Mitch said, and the recording is really good. So you can really hear Dolphy's sound, and that's worth hearing a sound. Uh, Dolphy's sound right before he died, when he's still, and, and, and it's really incredible you know and, and anyway so that's interesting no i'm with you um i was just gonna say you know that story it's just it's still hitting me that you read bobby hutcherson yeah. talking about this rehearsal shine a light for me on how eric dolphy would put a band together maybe something about the kind of thing he's looking to right. get back from the guys in the band right, right. and you listen to that uh, gaslight performance, and there it is. You know that warmth, uh, 
Richard right. Davis might not have even been part of that band, but right. he is that guy. Right, totally, yeah. You know, totally. You know um, there's two tracks left, and we're only going to get to hear one of them. Um, it's either going to be <laughs> Ode to Charlie Parker, which is incredible, or Naima, which I realize you haven't heard, and it starts with this um, this unaccompanied bass clarinet part. I hate to say I might have to hear that. <laughs> I think you might. Them, because after stuff with Kurt and all that, I think we'd, that would be the best. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you and I are on the same page, man. I'm going to say my thank you and fond fairly wells right now. Roy Nathanson, you've been a fantastic, oh, no. loving, generous guest. Thank you for coming no, through, man. Thanks. Thank you, Mitch. It was great, really. I really right. appreciate it. Well, we're going to give uh, Eric Dolphy the last word from with a piece that he played so many times with his dear friend, John Coltrane, who was still doing it at the time of this recording, June of 1964. Show's called Deep Focus. My name is Mitch Goldman. Uh, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you for being along with us. Thank and, you, Mitch. And take care, everybody. Yeah, man. There it is. Okay. Take it, Eric Dolphy. <laughs> Thank you.